Hi and welcome to this video. Now I will show you how content aware field works. I will simplify this as much as possible. Also we will use techniques that we learned before. So here is a photo that we will work on. As you can see it's a nice photo with lady standing in front of the window. We will make some corrections and remove this ugly window frame. So we will get this result. In this example I will show you how you can use content aware fill for removing object from a photo. Content aware fill is a very powerful Photoshop tool. This tool lets Photoshop to examine the actual content of your image and it tries to figure out the best way to remove area you selected. It's the first tool you want to use when you need to remove something from your photo. I am showing it last and there's a reason for it, later I will show you why. Let's start with this photo. As always we will duplicate the original layer and work on the copy. Now I will select this part of the, of the window frame. We can select it on different ways, with marquee tool, with lasso, quick selection tool and so on. Now I will use simple rectangular marquee tool and select this part. Next we need to bring up the fill command. You can go to edit, choose fill or you can use keyboard shortcut shift plus F5. Here in drop down menu, contents you need to choose the content aware. When you open this fill panel, pre-selected option here would be the last option you used before. So don't worry if you got a different option than me. So go ahead and select content aware. You can leave blending mode to normal and opacity to 100%. Great, the results are amazing. So let me show you this tool on one more photo. On the next image we will also use clone stamp tool which we learned before. Let's say you would like to post this photo on Instagram but without this person. So let's remove her. First let's grab lasso tool and go around this person to select it. After selection we need to go on edit, fill and choose content aware option. Bang! This person disappeared from photo in one second. But we are not finished yet. As you can see we need some tweaks and final touches. So it can look 100% realistic. Now let's grab clone stamp tool. As we learned before we first need to select the target point. Now we will clone the stones here on these weird looking spots. We will also remove this shadow. And that's it, let's see before and after. Wow watch this, it's amazing isn't it? Great. So that's it my friend, we come to an end of this lecture. And now let's move on to the next.